The COUNTIF function in Excel is a tool with which you can count the number of items under a specific condition. And in this tutorial we are going to look at a basic example, then we are also going to look at COUNTIF with multiple criteria, and we are going to look at COUNTIF for cells that are not blank. So let's start with the first example. Here we want to count the number of iPhone models. So if we do this by hand, we can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 iPhone models. Now if we use the count if function, we first of all type in count if, then the opening bracket, and then we have to pass this function a range. Since we are searching for iPhone models, so basically inside the product group, we have to select the whole product group range. And now the criteria we are searching for is the word iPhone. Note that you should always put a word in quotation marks so that Excel recognizes it. Now, as we said before, the number should be seven. Now what the count if function does, it goes into our selected array, which is this whole column. Then it searches for this criteria here, which is the word iPhone. And if it finds this criteria, it simply counts up. So it finds iPhone here, it counts to one. Then it finds another, it counts to two, and so on. Now when we press the enter key, you can see that the result is zero. Now we can see that this is clearly wrong and I did this on purpose to show you an extremely important thing. When I click on iPhone and then click into the formula bar, you can see that at the end of the word iPhone there is a space. There is a space added to the word. And now Excel basically checks is there the word iPhone without the space. Now this is basically not the same. If we would type in a space in here now, press the enter key, you could see that the number changes to the correct value. And therefore, a better method is not to type in the word iPhone in here, because you never know if there is maybe a space added at the, the end of the word. The easier thing is that you simply select the item you are searching for. So since we search for the iPhone item, we simply select it. Then we press the enter key and now it doesn't matter if there is one space, two spaces or three spaces at the end of this word because we selected it here and Excel is searching for the exact content of this cell. Okay, so let's go now to example two. The second example is that we should count the number of iPhone models with a revenue of over $30,000. And for this, we actually have to use the count if s function. The count if s function has multiple criteria, and the first criteria range is again the iPhone models. So we first of all count how many iPhones we have in here. So this is our first range, and the first criteria is that it should be this value here, so basically an iPhone. Then the second range is the revenue, because we want to check if the revenue is over 30,000. So we select the revenue column as our second range, and in this range we want to check if the revenue is over 30,000. Now we will have to pass in the mathematical check bigger than 30,000. And note when you implement such a check in the count if function, you will have to put it in quotation marks. So when we go up here into the formula bar, simply put a quotation mark at the end and at the beginning of this criteria. Now when we type the closing bracket, you can see the result is 3. So let's just do a quick recap. So we first of all go into the product group column and check how many iPhone models we have. And as we can see in our first example, this has to be the number seven. So we already excluded all the other models from the counting. So for example, the rows with iPad, MacBook and so on are not included in the counting 
anymore. And the next check we are doing is in the revenue column, we go in here and from the remaining values and from the remaining values, we also exclude the ones which are lower than the $30,000. Okay, let's go now to the third example, which is the total number of items. And as you can see, I purposely added a empty row. So when we select this whole column, you can see in the bottom that we have actually 16 entries. Um, but since one of them is empty, we should get the value 15 in the end. And for this example, there actually exists a separate function. And this separate function is called count a. As you can see here, count a counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So basically, cells that are not blank. And when we type the opening bracket, we can simply select the whole column in our table. And then when we press the enter key, Excel is now counting all the cells which are not empty. And as we said before, here we have 16 rows. And since we have an empty row here, the value should be 15. And again, in this example, I implemented a space in this empty cell just to show you that this is also being calculated. So we, when we again go into the formula bar and highlight the content, you can see that there is a space. Now, when we remove this space and hit the enter key, then the correct number is being counted. And that's it for count if in Excel. If you like the video, please don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and I see you in the next video.